This is pretty good timing now that we're hitting the 90s and getting close to triple digits. Now, one animal group applauds these new measures and says that uh, it's too late for one dog, but not for others. A dog named Lily caused outrage and protest in North Las Vegas last summer after being chained outside in a sweltering August heat wave. And we raced over there, and it took us about 45 minutes to get there. And by the time we got there, the dog had already died. After the death, North Las Vegas changed its animal ordinances, and on Wednesday, the city of Las Vegas did as well. We are told in part because of Lily. At the state level, you can tell they're 14 out of 24 hours, and now at the city level, they've made that, they've lowered that to 10. So county had already adopted that. North Las Vegas adopted it last December. Also new, dog owners who keep their pets outside have to do more than provide shade for them when temperatures rise. But when it hits 105, secondary cooling is now required. So you need to have a misting system or a swamp cooler or, you know, a kiddie pool or all of the above or a portable air conditioner. So basically that once that ambient temperature around your animal is 105, you have to cool the animal down. And there's more. And also there is no tethering allowed, which the county already had when there's a National Weather Service heat alert. So you can't tether your animal at all. Gina Grison says with just dirt in a yard and no shade, the temperature can be staggering for a dog. If you only have dirt, measure that. I'm going to assure you it's about 160 degrees when it's really hot outside. That's like a low setting on your oven. And while Lily faced a horrible death, Grison says others may not because of her and new measures now in place. And coming up tonight at 6, here are the penalties, and uh, including something that Mayor Pro Tem Stavros Anthony says has never happened in Las Vegas before. Reporting live, Joe Vigil, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.